Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today, we will be talking about the best travel camera of 2022. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. The newest model of Sony's tiny RX100 series cameras is the RX100 Mark 7. It is really like a pocket powerhouse that combines a 28 to 200 mm equivalent zoom with 20 frames per second shooting, up to 90 frames per second in a new short single burst shooting mode. 4K video capture now with human and animal IAF and the performance of Sony's flagship full frame mirrorless sports camera, the A9. A 20 megapixel 1 inch sensor, a respectable size for a compact camera, is housed inside the RX100 is housed inside the RX107's diminutive body. However, mirrorless cameras and DSLRs, which are significantly more affordable than this camera, have larger sensors, less expensive. However, the RX107 cannot use interchangeable lenses because it's compact. The camera's super high speed shooting capabilities are made possible by the newly created Stack sensor and Sony's newest Bions X image processor. The AF system also features 425 contrast AF points and 357 phase detection AF points, covering 68% of the frame. Sony's most recent real-time tracking AF and real-time IAF for both people and animals are available on the RX107. Although autofocus tracking is quick and efficient, some subjects will still be able to evade it if they move too quickly for it to keep up with them. The Animal Eye AF is eerily effective if your subject is reasonably close, has well-defined eyes, and isn't darting around too quickly. Fast-moving animals may prove more challenging to capture than posed pets. When it was introduced in 2019, the Fujifilm X-T30 was positioned as a more affordable alternative to the Fujifilm X-T3 with many of the same features. In 2022, the X-T32 is only slightly improved over the original, which is perhaps not surprising given how excellent the first camera was. There's probably not much point in upgrading if you already have an X-T30. Still, if you're looking for a good all-rounder that won't break the bank and fits neatly into your bag for daily and travel use, it's worth considering, and the fact that it's gorgeous to look at is a nice bonus too. Since 2019, Fujifilm has also made some changes to its product lineup, eliminating some of its more entry-level models. The X-T32 is now the company's most user-friendly model, but that doesn't mean you won't get good value for your money. It shares many characteristics with the excellent Fujifilm XS10 camera. Olympus offers two retro-inspired lineups in its mirrorless cameras, PIN and OMD. The fact that PIN cameras lack an integrated viewfinder and have a flat profile distinguishes them from the other models in the two lines. The most recent model in this line of entry-level mirrorless cameras is the PIN EPL10. The EPL10 has a lot to offer those just starting in photography including beautiful pictures, an unmatched selection of entertaining shooting modes, a simple flip touchscreen, and an effective image stabilization. In addition to offering a few manual controls, this retro-style camera is a capable shooter that makes the transition from using a smartphone easier. Right off the bat, we'll say that you'll need a magnifying glass to distinguish the difference between the EPL-10 and the EPL-9, two years older. There is a general perception, not just among Olympus customers, that these entry-level mirrorless cameras are not given top priority. The GoPro Hero 10 Black is significantly faster, easier to use, and more refined than its predecessor, despite not bringing about significant changes. The most adaptable action camera available in India right now is this one, a new GP2 chipset which enables new slow motion frame rates, faster transfer speeds, and improved image quality is responsible for the major advancements. One area that hasn't changed though is battery life. The company that has become synonymous with the category's action cameras, GoPro, has released its newest model, the Hero 10 Black. With the new GP2 processor, it is the most potent and well-rounded version yet. However, it is not a significant improvement compared to its Hero 9 Black 4Runner. The most recent version also offers new frame rates and shooting resolutions. The ability to shoot in 4K 120p and 2.7K 240p slow motion is now more than just a novelty feature. It's fun and useful. The Hero 10 Black is waterproof to a depth of 10 meters and is constructed around the same 23MP 12.3 inch sensor as its predecessor. The new GP2 processor gives it most of its new abilities. The 5.3K 60p 
4K 120p and 2.7K 240p shooting modes are just a few new shooting options. It's an interesting little camera, the Panasonic GX9. It performs well in terms of image quality, autofocus, and overall performance, and is compact and lightweight. What about the GX8 or GX85 though? The GX9 is a really good camera, regardless of the camera it replaces. It compares favorably to some of the best Micro Four Thirds cameras in terms of size, comfort in the hand, and photo quality. It offers a variety of useful 4K photo shooting modes, in addition to producing pleasing 4K video. At a great price, it offers a lot in a small package, which is exactly what many expect from a Micro Four Thirds camera. Do you enjoy working covertly to capture your subjects in their most natural state? If so, you're the target of the 20.3 megapixel Panasonic GX9. The GX9, a follow-up of the well-liked GX8, has a few new features of its own, but admittedly also brings a few areas in which features had to be scaled back a little. Its primary focus appears to be on shrinking size and cost reduction. The Panasonic GX9 introduces a brand new body that is significantly more compact than the GX8 it replaces. It's intriguing how similar the general body layout and design are to the more recent and even more affordable GX85, pointing to a shared design philosophy and team behind the two. The TG6 is a compact, extremely tough camera with various features that will interest many users, parents and regular shooters who prefer a device that can be dropped or wet over a smartphone, serious underwater photographers who wish to use off-camera flashes and dive deeper. Hikers and other outdoor enthusiasts want to keep tabs on their progress and altitude metadata to their photos. The TG6 Auto Mode can handle almost any situation for those in the first group, and its numerous scene modes are well organized. Underwater travel? Simply select the Fish option on the mode dial to see five appropriate options for your current situation. Olympus should have made a simpler version of its menu system for less experienced users who the variety and layout would likely daunt. The TG6 has some manual controls for enthusiasts, but not the full range you'd find on higher end camera. Although the aperture can be changed, only three options are available at once. The absence of the shutter priority or manual exposure modes on the camera is another reason for this. It's important to note that the exposure compensation cannot be changed into auto mode. Instead, you must switch to program or aperture priority. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get back with another video on the next episode.